pranks going on. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. Man, there's no way in hell I can get up early. No way in hell that I can get up early and get shit did around here. I don't even know why I say I'm gonna, because I know I'm not. So, I'll frig it. Well, look at me go. That whole intro, I wasn't wearing pants. Wow. So, I really want a coffee. So, I should have grabbed my cup when I went downstairs to go uh, put some pants on. But I didn't, because I'm stupid. I really wish you could actually talk. That would be awesome. I don't know what the hell goes on inside of that peanut sized brain of yours. Besides, ooh, I wonder what his pants smell like today. Hmm, wonder what his pants smell like. Maybe I should sniff his pants, eh? Yeah, that's probably what you're thinking. You're pretty stupid. So she's getting a little bit better. Her uh, neck is still pretty chewed up. I've been putting that cream on her, but it's first starting to grow back in some spots. It's just she keeps picking at it for fuck's sakes. Like, it's hard to get her back up to normal. So there's a little update on Scampers. As for Oreo, well, he's still stupid as fuck, but he's cute so he gets by. Well, it looks like Facebook's having fucking problems today. Oh well, whatever. We need to go bang out a lunch and then uh, head off to work shortly. Fun. Check it out. Still overcast. Fucked over the supermoon last night. Yep. Every time there seems to be a cloud, uh, an event with the moon, like a lunar eclipse, a supermoon, whatever it may be, it always seems to get cocked over by fucking overcast in this town. Ah, oh, trolled by clouds, people. Trolled by clouds. Do you think she sits there because she reminisces about the time she got out and got their shit kicked out of her by something out there? I think that's why she sits there, so she can stare out the window and be like, I remember a time when I was a free kitty, and I got beat up by something fucked up and had to come home and go to the vet, get a bunch of needles and things. I already got my lunch all put together. We still got 10 minutes before departure. And I want to make sure I got my phone. So we'll grab that right now. So Jet Wash got himself a new hunting camera. It's like a GoPro, but... Not really, like it's basically an action camera for hunting. Nice looking camera, uh, not GoPro obviously, it's some other brand. Nice looking camera, expect a review on his page if you're a hunter looking for a hunting cam. Uh, his link's in the description, go check that shit out. Uh, maybe if you're a hunter and you're looking for a way to capture your, your hunting experience on video, that camera might be what you're looking for. I think he picked it up at a local hunting shop too, so yeah, you know. I just let Oreo out for a potty break, so I'm just waiting for him to come back inside. And then I'm gonna get my shit ready, and we're gonna fucking bounce. I wonder if we can go one week without the air conditioning friggin' up at work. That'd be mint. If we can go one week, one solid week, without having the air conditioning completely shit the bed, I'll be impressed. Dude, what are you doing? Go potty. Come on, Oreo, go poop. I don't know what the hell, man. Grass is getting tall, and he's like, I don't want to touch my belly, it tickles, and I don't like that kind. Look at him. Look at this fucking thing. Look at him. He's all like nervous about the grass rubbing up against his gut. Decided to change up my dirt for the day. Yeah, it's covered in juice, because I'm covered in juice, but uh, put the. Uh, Sub tank on the X Pro. Freaking love this combo. I'm only giving it 21 watts and uh, just gives you a freaking good one. Gives you a freaking good one. And like I said, like on the video, if you haven't seen it, it's on the Northern Tech channel. It's only a, a, like under 40 bucks for this device and 80 watts, which I never take it to. Works mint, probably a good buy. If you're looking for a dart that can do 80 watts, so people were saying the temperature control doesn't work on it. I still want to try it and see what happens, but a lot of people are saying temperature control does not work on this device, so be warned. So it's obvious my homemade herbicide does work. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I sprayed it, and there's not too much new shit growing back. I sprayed it over here too, over here, basically to kill all this shit off. It's working pretty damn good, and it was cheap to make, so. Sprayed it all over here, killed all this crap off, all along the driveway here. 
I spot sprayed on the driveway too, like that's why it's all yellow here. Because I fucked it all over. So just gotta rake it up now. Worked awesome. But anyway, it's time to head off to work. So sure enough last night, right? Two annoyances occurred on my way home. Number one, I got pulled over for operating a wireless device while driving. Well, at least that's what the cop tried to call it. I was vaping while driving, which I do all the time, and the cop tried to nail me for the same fine as texting while driving. Operating a wireless device while operating a motorized vehicle. Or while operating a hands-free device while operating. Anyway, it's a $490 fine. Same exact fine that I got before when I was in coming back from Blokes. Well, the cop tried to nail me with it anyway. Tried. Told me that like, you, you can't be doing that blah blah blah. And I said, well, is it illegal for someone to smoke a cigarette while driving a car? Cop's like, well, no. It's That's legal. As long as there's nobody under the age of 18 in the car. I was like, oh, okay, so it's legal for someone to smoke and drive, but it's not, it's, it's illegal for someone to vape and drive. So he goes, well, you know, you're operating an, an electronic device while you're driving your car. And I'm like, yeah, but if I need both hands, I can quickly drop this thing without the risk of burning myself and, and drive the car. Where with a cigarette, if you have a cigarette in your hand and you need your hand free, you gotta drop your cigarette, you have the risk of catching your carpet on fire, burning yourself, causing more, uh, you know, more of a case of fucking plowing into like someone or whatever. You know, you run the risk of a lot of shit. You gotta throw that shit out the window to litter on top of that. That's another thing that smokers while drivers do. They'll just drive the fucking cigarette butt out the window. I know, I used to do it back in the day. So um, he sat there and he's like, well, that's a wireless device. I said, well, theoretically, to be classified as a wireless device, it needs a transmitter and or a receiver. I said, this this electronic cigarette neither has neither. It's literally a battery that powers a coil. And uh, then I got on the whole Health Canada bullshit about how Health Canada wants to basically classify electronic cigarettes as tobacco products. So I told him, I said, well, go ahead and write me the ticket and I'll see you in court because I'm fighting this because this is horse shit. I did not do anything wrong. I wasn't texting while driving. You know, you can vape and keep your eyes on the road just like you can smoke a cigarette, keep your eyes on the road and, you know, get shit done. I should have been recording. I should have fucking had my camera at the ready. I had it in my lunchbox and my lunchbox for some reason I threw it in the back seat so I couldn't get it in time. But like this cop was like, you know what, I'm going to give you a stern warning this time. You're lucky, sir. I'm giving you a stern warning and if I catch you doing it again, you're going to be in trouble. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, I wasn't doing anything wrong. Like, I wanted him to give me a ticket, so I could have went to court and proved that Officer Gimbo was fucking up, you know? Like, I'm sorry, if you can hack darts and drive a car, then you can vape and drive a car. There ain't no difference, according to Health Canada, because they're pretty fucking convinced that cigarettes and e-darts are the same. And that's not the case. That's really not the case, so... But no, I got off on that charge. He didn't write me a ticket. He let me go. I guess he realized that uh, I had too good of a defense. And I guess he didn't want to have to go to court. Cops hate it when they got to go to court and defend themselves for giving you a ticket. And I already talked to a few lawyers about vaping while driving and they, they said the same thing. They said, well, unless they passed a strict law saying you can't vape and drive, and that law has to be like for that exactly, then there you go. And I said, well, if they pass that law, then they have to pass the you can't smoke and drive law either. Or otherwise shit's gonna hit the fan, and that's true. And the, uh, and my buddy's, my buddy's lawyer, he agreed. He's like, yes, that's right. He goes, they'd have to do it for both. If you can't smoke and drive, you can't vape and drive. Like right now, there's a law in place where if you have a child under the age of 18 in your car, you can't smoke in the car with that child. You, you're not allowed. Kids have to be over the age of 18 in order for you to expose them to secondhand smoke in a vehicle. Which I totally agree with. I fucking agree with it 100%. You know, when we were kids, mom and dad both smoked and going on a long, long drive, man, the car smelled like a 1980s bingo hall. It reeked. You know, you smelled like cigarettes all the freaking time. You know, you always had your window open, which wasn't a smart thing to do because the smoke will go towards 
the heaviest flowing air source being whichever window was open the most. So, you know, if I had kids, even if that rule wasn't in place, I wouldn't smoke or vape in the car with them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't subject them to that. So I believe in that rule wholeheartedly, even though they say that the expulsion of vapor clouds from a vapor is cleaner than the air in Toronto, I still would not vape in a car with a child. You know, one thing I could see a problem with vaping in the car versus smoking is when you smoke a cigarette, for instance, and you exhale the smoke, it doesn't linger around for a while, where vapor tends to linger around a little bit longer, giving you the illusion of thick clouds, right? Where you smoke a cigarette, you inhale, you exhale, and the smoke basically dissipates pretty damn quick. So that's pretty good, except for the smoke is killing you big times. So that's probably not so good, but anyway, I managed to avoid getting that fucking court date, so that's pretty good. And then last night I get home and I look up to the sky and what do I see? The moon is no longer an overcast. It was a completely clear casted sky. You could see the stars, you could see the moon. The eclipse was pretty much fucking done. Like, it was pretty much done. There was no more uh, blood moon. and like There was about maybe an eighth of the moon that was still eclipsed, but it just looked like the moon wasn't done uh, setting. Fucking trolled by the clouds and, and, a, and a cop last night after work. Ah oh, well, it is what it is. Like I can understand with these box mods how cops can, you know, convinced that you're holding a cell phone in your hand or something because it's a box, like a box of batteries in it. Where those little ego pens, it's like, it's just a little cigarette tube. They wouldn't, they look at it and be like, oh wow, okay, whatever. But like you got this box mod in your hand and it's just this massive fucking box and a tank on the top. It looks like a phone. It can easily confuse someone who quick glanced you. You know, if they give you a quick glance, they'd be like, holy shit, that guy's talking on the phone while driving or some shit. And no, hate to pop your tits, but uh, my phone is either in my pocket or not on me when I'm driving because I don't want to be bothered. I don't even have my ringer turned on for frig's sakes. Even if someone were to text me, I wouldn't even be notified. That's how I roll anyway. I used to use my watch, my smart watch, to notify me, but like ever since I got bit by fleas, wearing a watch really sucks, so I haven't worn my smart watch now for about two weeks. What kind of car is that? I got a car behind me, it's got really weird lights, and I don't know what the fuck it is because it's got no badges on it. Looks sporty though. Oh man, tonight's gonna be a busy night at work, I can already tell. I already fucking tell. At least there's three of us on unless somebody called in sick. I'm almost expecting someone to have used a sick day. Oh shit, we got construction up ahead. Well, if we do, they're really not doing a lot of it. Unless it's further down the road. Yeah man, I have, I don't know, like lately my brain just won't shut off at night. And uh, the medication's not working anymore. I've been having a hard time falling asleep. So when I do get to sleep, I wake up the next day feeling all groggy and end up just rolling over and going back to sleep. Like I have my alarm set today for 11.30 a.m. because I wanted to get up, have something to eat, get out in the garage and take the engine off a black bike so I could start working on its frame. Yeah, that wasn't happening. That really was not happening today. Ended up getting out of bed at 2.30, saying fuck it. I'll get the black bike when I get the black bike. Romping season's pretty much done for this year. We didn't really go out that much this year. You know, I went out uh, once or twice with Adrian, and once with, uh, you know what? I wanted to fucking go there. There we go. I'm parked. It's funny, because that entrance has been fucked for a while now. You can see the dip in the ground, right? It doesn't look like much from this angle, but it really hits your car. So when I pull in, I try and pull in as far to the left as possible, or yeah, to the left as possible and it's smooth there so you can come in well as i was pulling in right there there's this lady in one of those nissan rogues was coming out and she's sitting on the left hand side of the road because she doesn't want to hurt her suv suspension it's like fuck i need to make this turn so yeah that's what i was complaining about there anyway it's not illegal to vape and drive unless they drop a law about it saying vaping and driving is illegal then give her, but until they do, they can go frig themselves. If they want to give me a ticket, by all means, I'll fight that shit in court and win because uh, it's not a law, you know? It's not like I have... 
they could try and nail me on the the smoking with a, with a youngin in the car if I had a youngin in the car but they can't nail me for vaping while driving because that's not a thing. Anyway, people, I gotta go inside, get this shift over with, so I'm gonna call her quits on the vlogs for now. Uh, if something else happens today, I'll probably pop the camera out again tonight and we'll bang out another video. But, um, yeah, thought I'd tell you a little bit about my story last night after I got off work. Fun stuff. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.